वॉट एवर आई एम डिस्कसिंग टूडे इट इज नॉट एज पर युअर सिलेबस टी वाय बी एस सी सेमिस्टर फाइव सिलेबस बट इट इज अ बेसिक नेसेसरी फॉर दैट सिलेबस बिकॉज ऑलरेडी बेसिक कॉग्नाइजन्स बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज कंसिडरेबली पुअर दैट आई नोटेड सो दैट बेसिक थिंग आई मेक द क्लियर बिकॉज युअर एप्रोच रिमेन्स ओनली मेमरी बेस्ड एप्रोच application based approach is not there but now whatever you are learning that's a application based you have to solve the numericals you have to answer the word problems if concepts are clear and you could able to apply the concepts then only you will be good in the approach to study this topic and such many topics remains in the chemistry if you join in industry then also these basic things are necessary so i am talking about one basic aspect today then uh, we will discuss the syllabus whichever is there as per the semester for you but it is necessary for you are you getting what i am discussing what i am saying good all are answering properly yes and while discussing if anywhere any problem comes then you are free to ask now i ask you some simple question in order to know the basic if you don't know it's my responsibility to make the concept clear my simple question what do you mean by listen carefully what do you mean by term mole m o l e mole anybody can answer unmute and talk or write in the chat box i repeat my question what do you mean by mole if you don't know say don't know i am explaining that okay sapnal is saying it is an unit i want answers from others also 17 students are here punam saying unit of amount of substance substance or quantity shruti saying mole is a unit of measurement okay unit of measurement it is unit of measurement unit of amount rishike saying ganesh saying amount of substance containing the same number of discrete entities like atoms molecules or ions okay good you are giving the good answers chetan saying it is a unit of measurement of amount of substance okay good good means you are expressing yourself so you are revealing yourself you are not absolutely right but you are on the proper direction you are expressing means you will learn easily you will learn properly unit of measurement yes she is saying okay okay many of you are answering means all you are thinking it is a unit of measurement but we are a science student no we should be with clarity measurement is measurement of what what are we measuring for example liter liter is a unit of measurement we can measure milk we can measure water we can measure petrol in terms of liter so it is also unit of measurement meter also is a unit of measurement gram also is a unit of measurement so mean unit of measurement remains many so purpose remains for that unit of measurement so what do we measure by means of that mole okay punam is answering atoms molecules and ions okay atoms molecules and ions what about others punam has answered atom molecules and ions what do we measure yes shruti is saying atom molecules and ions atoms molecules and ions at least one more answer i am waiting for yes chetan is saying atoms molecules ions and electrons good additional thing he has added good good means we measure such a small thing atom is a very small thing molecule also is a small thing in the chemistry in order to understand we write a structure in terms of large one hydrogen atom other hydrogen atom that's a h2 molecule but in true sense it's a very very small entity same thing about what the electron so you might be with this clarity that atoms molecules ions electrons are the small entities so for their measurement we need one unit and that unit is a mole sister you only have answered that only i am correcting that only i am framing properly what i am saying this atoms ions molecules electrons these are very small entities to measure those small entities this their number how many are there for that we use this term mole i repeat mole is a 
term mole is a unit mole is a measurement used for make measurement of smaller thing like atoms ions and molecules and this mole i am asking question to you this mole is a number a one particular number value of that mole is fixed or is changeable question is is mole a number yes or no is mole a number you can answer yes or no punam is saying yes chetan is saying fixed value means it's a number shruti is saying yes 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 good 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 means mole of sodium sodium atom i am saying mole of hydrogen mole of water what are the molecule i am saying mole of ammonia so let you take any compound or molecule let you take atom like sodium or hydrogen let you take ion like na plus or cl minus let you take electron any electron or number of electrons especially in redox chemistry we consider the number of electrons gain or lost that number of electron means what mole is a number and that number is applicable for measurement of such small entities atoms ions molecules and electrons protons anything you can consider it is a number to make this concept clear i give you one example from market we bring bananas and bananas we count in terms of what dozen actually number also we can count 12 bananas 24 bananas but in spite of that accepted unit is what dozen but if we see the apples apples we purchase in terms of kilos in terms of weight actually apples also could able in dozen so dozen is a one number and by that number we can measure apples also we can measure bananas also and we could measure grapes also actually in terms of dozen but it is not applicable unit it is not practicable unit for grapes therefore for grapes okay we understand it is in terms of kgs but for apples it can be measured for pomegranate it can be in terms of the dozen but we measure it in terms of what kilos so conventional way we different but for calculation purpose in kg how many apples are there those we can count in terms of dozen also in terms of what the number also as like 1 2 3 numbers are there dozen is a one number likewise mole is a number i am asking simple question to you one dozen means how many counts how many items okay rupashri has answered so your answers are coming on record is video record otherwise they come on my record separately as a message that's a different good 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 all are answering means all you know one dozen means how much in chemistry we don't count this entities in terms of dozen chemistry says if you have to count these small entities you need one number that is a mole now i want answer from you one mole means what is that number what is the count oh great shruti has already type i think <laughs> 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 approximately okay shruti punam Yes, Chetan. Chetan has given additional information. He is saying it is Avogadro's number. Yes, Avogadro's. Avogadro scientist. He has not given that number, but his name came for that number because of the work of Kenneth Rose. Just to go to the basic videos for F B C prepared there, this concept will be very clear. For historical moment from the Berzelius to Rutherford, there you will get the importance of the Avogadro, Kenneth Rose aspect. Yes, Sopnali. Okay, only few students have answered. See what about dozen? All you have answered, but for this Avogadro's number or for the mole, how many have answered? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only have answered. It's a issue. Now at least doesn't matter whatever the situation was there. Now at least you should remember Avogadro's number for one mole means six point not two two into Ten raised to twenty-three, six point zero two two. That's an approximation that I did. 
it is our avogadro's number so that number means mole so in conclusion mole is a number of species but one issue is there one problem is there now problem i define by giving one other example suppose if you go in the grocery shop and you purchase 1 kg of sugar a kg is a kilogram is a measurement for that sugar in that 1 kg how many sugar particles i am not saying molecules i am saying sugar particles depending upon the grade of sugar particle will vary but how many such particles are there what do you think that counting is easy or difficult it is not like counting the number of apples in dozen so the no, sorry number of atom apples in the kg even number of counting grapes in the kg is easy but number of counting sugar particles in 1 kg of sugar sugar particles granules is difficult to count yes yes and therefore uh, conventionally we consider kg can be the unit for that but chemistry deals with stoichiometry number of h plus ion number of oh minus ion they are going to encounter they are going to react they are going to collide to result a water molecule so acid base reaction so there we want exact number and chemistry reached to that level we can know the exact number of species but to count those species we need appreciable unit means when we add sugar while preparing a tea number of pinches by which we don't count number of spoons those we add those we count if any medicine is there that by spoon medicinal spoon or tea spoon or usual spoon by which we take that syrup medicinal syrup but if you are using the water for the cleaning the utensil or other purposes you don't count that water by means of the spoon you count it in terms of bucket or you will count in terms of mug or the jar so as per our feasibility practicability we decide the count but in chemistry the exact count is important in 1 kg of sugar in case one more particle is extra one particle i am saying one particle means a lot of molecules sugar molecule extra will do for us it is not going to make a more difference one particle is less it is not going to make a more difference from economic point of view and understanding point of view but chemistry wants to be practically most correct so for that chemistry chooses to measure number of atoms number of molecules number of ions number of electrons which is not a easy task and nobody is there who is going to count that number of atom number of molecules but chemistry has proved that whatever the avogadro has given the number 6.022 into 10 to 23 actually that number came later avogadro the scientist has not given that number but because of the avogadro that number came due to the work of kenizros and many other scientists and therefore we say it is avogadro's number whatever that avogadro's number is there with the help of that we can count the entities means we can count the number of moles and with the help of number of moles the reactivity reaction stoichiometry can be decided so before going to reaction you should know the one term one number that is a mole so understand now one thing mole is a number and that number you have given answer That's a six point not two two into ten raised to twenty three. So scientists have work on that. Suppose if I take mole of hydrogen atoms, one mole of hydrogen atom, means six point not two two into ten raised to twenty three number of hydrogen atom. Then its weight will be one gram. One gram in terms of gram we are expressing. Atomic weight has no unit. It's a gram atomic weight we can say it possesses Avogadro's number. so that's the importance of the gram entity if i take oxygen oxygen atoms i am saying one mole of oxygen atoms then they will weigh how much 16 gram so one mole of oxygen means 16 gram one mole of hydrogen means 1 gram now i am asking question to you i repeat 16 gram of oxygen means one mole 1 gram of hydrogen means 1 mole 
that's a basic ad given to you you also might be knowing that i want one mole of water i want avocado's number of water how much weight i should take how much water i should measure how much water i should weigh i am waiting for your replies chetan is saying 18 rupashi is saying 18 muskan saying 18 elia saying 18 puram has given now correct answer 18 gram puram i suggest you gram is represented by only g small g it is a scientifically accepted term small g m has the other designation m can be meter yes kartika 18 gram 18 g but i am not understanding oxygen means 16 hydrogen means 1 so 16 plus 1 it should be 17 but why are you saying 18 why are you saying 18 ganesh i want the calculation as per the instructions yes aliya there are the two hydrogen atoms so when we take one mole of water molecule at that time how many moles of oxygen atom only one yes chetan how many moles of hydrogen two moles of hydrogen two hydrogens are there double the quantity of hydrogen than that of the oxygen and therefore 16 plus 2 you did and you found molecular weight that's so called molecular weight in terms of gram molecular weight simply is 18 but in terms of gram it is 18 gram atomic weight molecular weight has no unit but when we have to count in terms of mole at that time we have to weigh them we have to express them in terms of gram when we express the atomic weight molecular weight in terms of gram we will get avogadro's number of the entities mole of the entities and those entities that measurement is used in the chemistry for finding the calculation or to decide the stoichiometry of the reaction okay good for water you did a calculation for one mole of water molecules how much water you have to weigh that you did calculation now i ask question to you to weigh one mole of sodium chloride how much i should weigh sodium chloride salt yes will anybody help me what is the atomic number of sodium 11 yes and atomic weight atomic weight weight of that the sodium atomic weight atomic number you are right atomic number is number of protons but in that also there remain a neutrons and because of that the weight remain what is the atomic weight of sodium see students if you don't know don't get confused don't think chemistry is boring don't think it's difficult it is the easiest thing only simple somewhere this teaching were done teachings were there you were not paying attention and therefore you made it difficult it is very easy time being you remember now yes rushikesh has given answer i want one more answer at least yes aliya 23 gram 23 is atomic weight of sodium if i take 23 gram of sodium it will be about got those number of the sodium atoms or sodium ions na plus you can see the same thing i got those number of the na plus will weigh 23 gram because electron is just lost no electron weight we are not considering what about cl minus chloride if i have to weigh avogadro number of the chloride if i have to weigh one mole of chloride chloride ions how much will they weigh yes muskan punam chetan absolutely right 35.5 punam yes uh, 35.5 you, you might have done the approximation we will do it 35.5 yes na plus its measurement for one mole is 23 for cl minus its measurement is 35.5 now i am asking question to you what's the molecular weight of sodium chloride what's the molecular weight of sodium chloride right muskan right 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 rupashri right chetan yes punam yes right 58.5 gram it means simply if you weigh 58.5 gram of the sodium chloride it possesses one mole of the sodium chloride molecules or, or the sodium chloride species actually it's a ionic compound a total sodium chloride for stoichiometry decision i am talking about let me complete one more example let's a gas ammonia gas what is the formula of ammonia yes saliya muskan rishikesh rupashri right sapnali right right ganesh mayur other students now if you don't know don't take tension the simple things are there 
you have to remember this at this moment as you read more chemistry if you run away if reactions are then if you're running away then these problems are coming till now if you have done these things now at this year at this third year you should not do that smile are you following what i'm saying sir i was knowing but i was not confirm yes yeah. that you will yes, get yes, confirm if you read more sir. yes no, okay good uh, now now on was don't hesitate to read reaction don't run away from the reaction let it be inorganic reaction let it be the organic reaction don't worry about that face the reaction you will learn the reaction it is the only tactic to learn the chemistry yes nh3 ammonia molecule what is the molecular weight how much gram of ammonia i should take then i will get one mole of the ammonia yes puna muskan alia brilliant brilliant kartika right 17 sapnal right rupashri right mayur brilliant yes chetan absolutely yes 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 ganesh 17 gram why 17 gram nitrogen atomic weight is 14 Means fourteen gram of nitrogen. Means I've got those number of the nitrogen. One mole of nitrogen, and hydrogen atomic weight is one one gram of hydrogen. Means I've got those number of hydrogen. Such so how many hydrogens are there in that one formula? One molecule, one NH three, three are there. So for each hydrogen, one. So for three hydrogen, three will be there. Fourteen plus three, seventeen. So seventeen is a molecular weight. 17 and in terms of gram i repeat molecular weight has no unit but if we represent in terms of gram it is a 17 gram why we represent in terms of gram in order to care for mole concept of mole so one mole of ammonia means 17 gram now students i ask you the question one mole of ethylene ethylene Yes, will anybody tell me the formula of ethylene? Where is the problem? Yes, Alia, Punam, Ankita, C, right? C two H four double bond carbon carbon double bond remains there. C two H four. Now I want answer from you. If I want for one reaction two moles of ethylene, I repeat two moles of ethylene. How much should I weigh? What should be its weight? i am measuring in terms of the weight let it be the gas let it be the solid let it be the liquid at this moment let me know who answers early 56 puna answer early alia answered then 56 muskan said 56 of course gram certainly alia it should be gram but i understand you want to say it is in terms of gram only yes yes good good all you are answering 56 two moles means you might have calculated for the one mole one mole means c2h2 Carbon two are there, so twelve into two, twenty-four. Two hydrogen, sorry, four hydrogens are there, so twenty-four plus four, twenty-eight. So twenty-eight is a molecular weight of one ethylene. I said two ethylene, two moles of ethylene. Then weight will be in terms of gram. When mole comes, then gram comes. So twenty-eight into two, fifty-six. Brilliant students. So you have understood the mole means what. Now we have to apply this concept for the. reactions uh, i want to know pratik you came late but after us you can go through that the problem comes you can ask is the concept of mole and importance of mole applications of mole time being clear to you for these examples any formula then how much we need to weigh at least you will find out in terms of gram basic is necessary its atomic weight from that you can find the molecular weight now onwards don't hesitate to calculate molecular weight let it be the potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 seven oxygen two chromium one potassium how the habit to do such calculations you may feel directly given the book no why to do calculations there you are committing mistake mistake to learn if you have to learn no you have to practice that and by practice you will learn more effectively and that's a true learning and joy of that learning is different different than the memorization than only writing in the examination now students i am giving you one reaction and about reaction i tell you the basic and then we will perform one calculation then i will give the homework for you okay now i am showing the one screen see whether you could able to read that just wait let me see whether it is there notes yeah could you able to see the screen toichometry is a heading and now see i am presenting so i could not see your answers will anybody talk yes sir yes sir 
Yes, yes, good, good. Basic thing of chemistry. You might be knowing, but I am repeating that now onwards. I don't want to lose a single chance to make you the concepts clear because few students or many students in your class are there. They have to work from basic. So where to work? They will know. So they will go through that reaction detail later on. So here N two is a symbol molecule. How many N two? Only one N two. One nitrogen molecule. N two is a molecule. H two. Is a molecule. How many? Three are there. Here result is ammonia molecule. How many? Two. Catalyst, a temperature and a pressure and reversible arrow. Reaction. Left side reactants. Right side products. See ammonia is produced in terms of gas. H two is gas. Of course here N two also they should mention. It is also gas. So this is a reaction. If I have the some quantity of nitrogen, some weight of nitrogen, how much quantity of hydrogen I should take? That I can calculate because of this reaction, and I can predict how much quantity can be produced. Now let us work. I want help from you while answering. Please talk. You have to answer by unmuting yourself. Here reactant is nitrogen N two. I want molecular weight of nitrogen. Please help. See you have to talk. Molecular weight of N two. Sorry, was not loud, not clearly audible. Fourteen. Right, fourteen. 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 Only fourteen. If I take fourteen in terms of gram, then it's a one mole. How about those number of nitrogen molecules will be there in fourteen gram of nitrogen? So you can write in your book fourteen gram of nitrogen. Okay, it is a need for the reaction. Now hydrogen. What is the molecular weight of hydrogen? One gram. What the molecular weight of hydrogen? Unmute and talk. One, One gram. Molecular weight has no unit, but in terms of gram, if we express, then it will be mole. Have I got those number of species? Now my question: What the molecular weight of hydrogen molecule? Three. Three. Okay. Who has answered three? Amisha. Amisha. Yes. Any other answer? Two gram. See, gram is not to be in molecular weight. And my question is molecular weight. Therefore, I ask you whether the answer is clear or not. Molecular weight has no unit, but if we express it in terms of gram, then it can count in terms of mole. So, my question: molecular weight of hydrogen molecule? One. One. Yes, good. Any other answer? I want one more answer. Yes, at least one more answer. What is the molecular weight of hydrogen? One. One. Okay. Now. i explain that answer see it's a basics it's a chemistry i want to know from you my question was molecular weight of molecule and atom these two different things are there hydrogen atom means h i want answer from you hydrogen molecule means h2 you have to talk because i could not read at this molecule. moment is yes, hydrogen molecule means h2 h2 simply h2 Hydrogen molecule means H two. Hydrogen atom means H. Hydrogen molecule means H two. What was my question? I had not asked atomic weight. I asked molecular weight. So you will take weight of what? H or H two? H two. H two. Now tell me what is the molecular weight of H two? One. Oh, who is saying one? One. Two. One. Two. 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 Okay. Why one? Why one? Is who is saying one? Why are they saying one? I want to know. Sorry, Can ah uh, yes, please. Sorry, sir. Ah okay, no problem. Mistake in it happened. Hydrogen atom. See, H means atom. It's a basic. See what happened? Mistake in it. It's a biotic problem. When you go on biotic those things, then such wrong things you carry. Now wisely you have to apply the concept. Atom means H, and molecule means H two. My question was molecular weight means H two weight of H two one hydrogen one other hydrogen further one so total two will be there so molecular weight of hydrogen is two if you take two gram of hydrogen then our got those number of hydrogen molecules will be there but in this reaction Amisha three hydrogen molecules are there or one nitrogen molecule. so that three has importance but it is not related to molecular weight of hydrogen amisha are you getting this point yes sir yes if you take one mole of nitrogen 
then you need to take triple quantity three times more three moles of hydrogen for that purpose reaction is useful so that number 3 indicates number of molecules that number 3 can indicate number of moles if you are talking in terms of molecules then in terms of molecule that number 3 will work if we are talking in terms of moles then in terms of moles that number 3 will work so what are the unit we are taking in terms of that number 3 will work if i talk one nitrogen molecule then three hydrogen molecules if i talk one nitrogen mole then there will be three hydrogen mole now answer for my question if 0.5 mole of nitrogen is there 0.5 mole of nitrogen half mole of nitrogen then how much mole how many moles of hydrogen should be there i am asking question to you if i take 0.5 half mole of nitrogen then how many moles of hydrogen should be there unmute and talk 1.5 okay 1.5 3 and half or 1.5 yes simple logic for one three is there three times then for point for you three times for the three times of point for you 1.5 point for you so 1.5 point for you moles of hydrogen will be there now i ask you the question i said no point for you mole of nitrogen is it possible point for you mole Point for you mole of nitrogen molecules. Is it possible? Yes, yes sir. or no? Your replies are very less. Unmute and talk. Is yes, there any sir. problem to unmute? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Answer I am getting. For the three answers I want. My question is: Is point for you moles of nitrogen half mole of nitrogen possible? Yes. For the two answers. Yes. Last one more yes. answer. Yes, yes, it is possible. As like half dozen is possible. Half dozen means six. We consider six items. Likewise, half of that Avogadro's number. It's a very huge number, very large number. Half of that, it is possible. So any fraction also may what possible. So fraction of mole is possible, but fraction of molecule is not possible. Listen carefully. N two means molecule. Half molecule, no. it will be atom more it will not be molecule but number of molecules we express in terms of mole that can be half that can be one third that can be one fourth that can be one tenth molecule division can't possible we can't do but mole mole means number it's a large number its division is possible students are you understanding what i'm saying yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes from sir. boys no reply yes sir yes sir yes sir ah, okay okay good 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 so one mole of nitrogen and three moles of hydrogen moles molecule i am not saying mole is a number that can produce two moles of ammonia so now tell me if i take 14 g of nitrogen if i take 6 g of hydrogen see 14 Plus six. So how much is there? Twenty. How many grams of ammonia will be there? Ten. Ten. How many grams of ammonia? Total ammonia will be produced there. Twenty. Ten. Yes. Any other answer? Last one answer. I am waiting. Twenty. Yes. Two. Two. Two grams of ammonia. Okay. Okay. I repeat. Fourteen gram of nitrogen means how many moles? Twenty. Fourteen gram of nitrogen means how many moles of nitrogen? How many one moles of nitrogen molecule? One. 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 Okay. Yes. Six gram of hydrogen means how many hydrogen moles? How many hydrogen three. moles? Hydrogen molecule moles? Yes, right. Three. Right. So fourteen plus six. So I should get twenty. Are you understanding what I am saying? I should get twenty. But now let us calculate as per our chemical aspect. What is the molecular weight of nitrogen? So sorry. What is the molecular weight of ammonia? NH3. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yes, seventeen. Seventeen is for nitrogen. See, you are confusing. My oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You are you are right. Molecular weight of uh, ammonia is seventeen. Fourteen for nitrogen. Absolutely, you are right. Sorry, I was wrong. Seventeen. So seventeen for one mole. For two moles. For two moles. Thirty-four. Yes. See, so two moles of ammonia if are produced. And if I consider okay. one, yes, yes, one mole means seventeen. Two moles means thirty-four. 
सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेट थर्टी फोर ग्रैम थर्टी फोर ग्रैम अमोनिया सी इंटरेस्टिंग हाउ मेन हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन यू टेकन हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वन मोल ऑफ नाइट्रोजन मीन्स हाउ मच फोर्टीन फोर्टीन हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन सिक्स सिक्स सो फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स हाउ मच फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी सो फोर्टीन एंड सिक्स इफ यू मिक्स देन रिजल्ट शुड बी हाउ मच ट्वेंटी आर यू फॉलोइंग वॉट एम सींग बट हाउ मच रिजल्ट इज प्रोड्यूस देर टोटल डबल डब टू एन एस्टी आर देर नो सो थर्टी फोर येस थर्टी फोर सो समेर प्रॉब्लम्स आर देर इन अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग Are you getting this problem? It is not so simple. At the beginning, what the you should have thought: fourteen plus six, twenty. Twenty means two. But so far, one will be ten. So few students might have answered ten, considering that. But from chemistry point of view, what chemistry says? What this reaction says? One mole of nitrogen. One mole of nitrogen means fourteen gram of nitrogen. Three moles of hydrogen means six gram of hydrogen. If they combine, they will produce. At equilibrium, at equilibrium, I am saying they will produce at equilibrium thirty-four gram of ammonia. It is the understanding of our chemical reaction. If you could able to read here, it is written there. See, if you consider a molecule, one molecule of nitrogen, three molecules of hydrogen, they will produce two molecules of Ammonia, or in terms of mole, already I talked to you. It should be H two. It can be the metric ions. It can be the moles. It can be the any other unit you can consider. Thousand times, if any quantity can repeat. Million times you can repeat. Crore times you can repeat. Billion times you can repeat. So stoichiometry will remain the same, but somewhere from Weight point of view, a doubts will be there. That I make the clear. But is this reaction clear to you? And the doubt that I put in your mind, is it clear? Is the question yes. clear? Okay. Question is reaction thought to be the very simple. But by weight, if you count fourteen plus six, it should be twenty. Yes, sir. So from where extra weight came, may be the doubt. Other. From mole point of view, if you consider, then it should be the thirty-four. So somewhere twenty and thirty-four mismatch is there. What exactly chemistry is? Yes, we are here to learn the chemistry, and today we are learning the basic. So let you know the concept of moles and the Avogadro's. I told you about Avogadro's number for silver nitrate, sodium chloride, silver chloride, sodium nitrate. any other molecule you can work for that for that the work is given to you already work i got the done from you homework i am giving to you you have to find this molecular weights of these yes will you write down this homework you have to find molecular weight of agno3 nacl that we have work agcl and nano3 yes did you wrote in the book write down in the book what you have to do you have to find the molecular weight of silver nitrate agno3 Right, molecular weight of AgCl, and find molecular weight of NaNO3. Write it in the book. Shall I move to next point now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See the next point. Next point is limiting reagent with which we have to work. It's a very interesting topic. Suppose if you are preparing one food recipe, say pulao, so different ingredients are necessary. they should be in particular proportion to prepare pulao suppose you need onions and only limited onions are there a quantity of pulao will be decided by means of number of onions how much rice you have to take how much other ingredients you have to take i repeat pulao is a recipe one formula is there for that recipe and in that A rice is necessary. In that onion is necessary. Different ingredients, masala ingredients, spicy ingredients are what necessary. But you have all the things. But only about the onions limitations are there. Only two onions you are with. You will you know that the size. Upon accordingly, what you will take the decision. How much rice is to take? How many other ingredients are to add? That you will decide. 
so who has limited your recipe who has restricted your quantity onion has restricted your quantity similarly if you have to prepare the tea and while preparing tea you add the milk and milk quantity is less but you want the quality of that uh, tea should be of one grade so for that purpose depending upon the milk you will prepare what the tea students are you following what i am saying limiting aspect yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. boys your sound is not coming yes sir yes sir yes don't count yes, your numbers you should be loud to answer good see here here we are preparing recipe and in the recipe reaction is there see this reaction c2h2 c2h2 means could you able to read that reaction ethene ethylene ethylene oh horrible yes c2h2 means c2h4 that you only have answered as ethylene it's a c2h2 sorry sir what's answer c2h2 c acetylene acetylene right you should add t y level to such a way that easily readily you have to answer c2h2 is acetylene it's in gaseous ethyne. state okay that's a ethyne that also is possible possible ethyne it reacts with oxygen that's o2 to produce co2 carbon dioxide and water that's a h2o now students what you have to do find molecular weight sorry find weight of c2h2 needed yes what is the weight of c2h2 to c2h2 c2h2 means how much weight is be passed c2h2 26 yes i could not hear please repeat 26 26 26 is 1 26 g in terms of mole if you want one mole then that is a 26 But here, how many situations two are there? Two. Are you following? Ismail, are you getting the point? Ah, uh, hello. Are you, you getting the point? You, you called me. You. Yes, yes. Are you understanding? Sir, uh, the network network is network okay. is weak. No, so okay, I'm okay. not able to hear anything. Little H2. little. Okay, uh. you see the video. Two C two H two. Two acetylene are there. Two acetylene means how much should I weigh? Two moles of acetylene. Two moles of acid. Yes, please repeat. Two grams. Yes, two grams. Yes, yes. Be fast now. Five moles of oxygen. Be fast. Answer. Oxygen atomic weight is sixty. See, O two is there. Five moles of O two. One sixty. Yes, right. One sixty. Right. One sixty gram. So if I take fifty two gram of acetylene, I should be with how much quantity of oxygen? How much quantity of oxygen? If I take 52 gram of acetylene, yes, 160 gram, 160 gram oxygen should be there. That can produce four CO2, means four moles of CO2. Yes, four moles of CO2 means how much weight in terms of gram? See its application. Those who are not understanding, they have to apply. See the repeated video and work there at your. You can pause the video and work. Yes, we passed. 176 gram. One seven six. One seven six. Okay. How they calculated? Yes, right. Forty four into four. That's a one seven six gram. And two water molecules. Two moles of water. Two moles of water means it will be thirty six gram. It's our understanding of this reaction. It's a proper understanding of the reaction. But here reactants are two. Suppose if the reaction is to forward direction, reaction can be to both direction, forward and backward. Suppose if the reaction to forward direction, then reactants are these two. If the reaction is to backward direction, these two reactants are there. How to know whether the reaction is to forward direction or backward direction? That I discuss tomorrow. But now remember, now consider reaction is to forward direction. These two reactants are there. Then out of these two, whoever is less, that will be limiting reagent. Now write down the problem. Write down the problem. If you take ten gram of acetylene, ten gram of acetylene, and sixty gram of oxygen, then for this reaction, who is a limiting reagent? Yes. Did you wrote the problem? I repeat. This is a reaction. Out of that, I am talking about the forward reaction. So reactants are only these two. One is acetylene, and other is oxygen. For the reaction, we want two oxygen, two acetylene, and five O two. Two acetylene molecules and five oxygen molecules. That is our 
need two moles of acetylene and five moles of oxygen. That is our need. But we want to find out limiting reagent. I told you a 10 gram of oxy 10 gram of acetylene you are with and 50 gram of oxygen you are with. How can you find limiting reagent? How to find limiting reagent? I give the hint to you. You have to find moles. I told you that two moles of this acetylene means uh, 52. 52 gram or one mole of the acetylene means 26 gram or one mole 26 gram necessary. But how much weight I had taken? Only 10 gram. 10 gram of acetylene. So 10 gram of acetylene means how many moles? How many moles? That you will get the answer. I told you the oxygen quantity. One mole of oxygen means 32. So how many moles are taken? So that quantity weight divided by molecular weight in terms of gram, you will get number of moles of oxygen. So you will get number of moles of oxygen. And then you answer which is less. We need double two moles of acetylene and for two moles, we need high oxygen moles. Students, are you getting this question? If yes, say yes. If no, then say no. Not clear, sir. Not clear. No. Not clear. No, sir. Okay. okay. Now listen Not carefully. Clear. How much C2H2 I told to you? How much acetylene in problem? 10 gram. 52. 10 gram. No. Problem no. given no. How much acetylene? 10 gram. 10 gram of acetylene is there with you. 10 gram of acetylene means how many moles that you have to find out. How will you find out? 10 divided by molecular weight. Now answer for my question. What is the molecular weight of acetylene? 52. 52. What is the molecular formula of acetylene? What is the molecular formula of acetylene? C2H2. Okay. Now, C2. two carbon means two carbon, two hydrogen means how much weight? Carbon means 12, hydrogen means 1. One mole molecular weight means you have to consider molecular formula. Don't consider number of reagents in reaction. Are you getting what is the molecular weight of acetylene? 26 gram. 26. 26. Molecular weight is 26. But if we take 26 gram of acetylene, then that is a one mole. That's a one mole. 26 gram means one mole then 10 gram means how many moles how will you find 10 divided by 20 sorry, 26 yes 10 divided by 26 those many moles of acetylene you will find in your position for reaction onions rice that you are calculating no so that i am talking about how many uh, how many moles of acetylene are there 10 divided by 26 for 26 one mole then for 10 how 10 divided by 26 is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If no, then yes, say no. Sir. Okay. Similarly, oxygen. Now answer for my question. What is the molecular weight of oxygen? 16. What is the molecular weight? 16. Absolutely. 16. If you take 16 gram of the oxygen, then one mole. 16 gram is equal to one mole. But how much oxygen I ask that you are with? I told you you are with? 60 gram only 60 gram of oxygen so 60 divided by 16 you will get number of moles of oxygen are you getting how to find number of moles yes sir. yes yeah. but yes, here sir. problem is not ended now you have to take care for this plurality you take care for number of reagents here two acetylene two moles of acetylene for two moles of acetylene you need five moles of oxygen now see mole is one number i repeat for two moles of acetylene you need five moles of oxygen so how many times more oxygen you want how many more moles of oxygen you want how many times more for two five, five. Oh, for two five if is one is there and five then five times if you consider two acetylene then five how many times five is up to three oh great times division Five divided by two. Five divided by two. Division. Two point five. So two point five times. It's a basic student. Don't take tension now. I should learn now. So for two acetyl molecules, you want five oxygen. So how many times more? Two point five times. Suppose here would have been the six oxygen. Example I'm giving. Six oxygen. Then three times more. For two six. Suppose here ten would have been there. Then five times more. Suppose here only one. Acetylene is there for one five and for one five means five divided by one times means was just to take ratio five divided by two it's a two point five times is it clear so reaction says that 
amount of oxygen quantity of oxygen weight of oxygen should be not necessarily weight uh, the moles of oxygen moles of oxygen should be 2.5 times not weight 2.5 times moles than the moles of acetylene is a reaction necessity is it clear if not then say no no clear sir yes sir yes sir okay yes, sir. i repeat i am saying high moles moles of oxygen molecule is a moles you say high moles of oxygen are needed for two moles of acetylene means how many times more moles of oxygen do not weight moles of oxygen necessary it is 2.5 times therefore what the weight was there 60 60 for oxygen 60 gram oxygen and 10 gram acetylene from first instance what you are finding is a 10 6 times more oxygen is there likewise you will feel but it is not true chemistry talks about moles chemistry talks about molecules chemistry talks about entities we are discussing stoichiometry so therefore we calculated moles so first calculate moles of acetylene in 10 gram how many moles are there 10 divided by 26 in 60 g how many oxygens are there what will you do 60 divided by 32 you will get number of moles then just see any reference you can take acetylene as a reference what are the moles are coming you know if those many moles of acetylene you are with then how many moles of oxygen will be need 2.5 times see whether that much number is there if that number is there then equal is there both are equal if that number of moles of oxygen is more then oxygen is abundant or more quantity is there so limiting is limiting region is acetylene if that number of moles of oxygen are less then oxygen is a limiting limiting factor limiting reagent so students i just told you limiting reagents and i have given work to you homework to you if i take 10 g of the acetylene and 60 g of the oxygen then who is limiting reagent in this reaction forward reaction is my question clear yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir. sir you can answer it you can answer it in the youtube video will be there below that also you can answer and in their answer or don't answer is your choice but mandatorily compulsorily where you have to answer in your assignment you have to solve that problem and you have to answer so today i had given homework i repeat what homework i had given to you you find molecular weight of silver nitrate silver chloride molecular weight saying molecular weight has no unit sodium nitrate is that first homework clear yes sir yes sir yes, sir. yes. second homework it is a reaction acetylene is reacting with oxygen and i told you you are with 10 g of the acetylene and 60 g of the oxygen find limiting reagent either oxygen or acetylene which one or both are equal that you have to answer if both are equal then both are limiting there is no question of limiting actually equally anything is less then that's a limiting so how to find less number of moles you have to find out okay students i have given hint to you afterwards we will discuss about the equilibrium whether that reaction will go forward or the backward how to find out and whatever the logic i told to you somewhere chemistry is missing i told you 14 g here 6 g and here weight should be 20 but is coming larger how there is a gain in weight how the weight is gain that we have to what discuss where is the problem in the reaction or in our understanding that we will see next time so students i am asking question to you whatever i discuss is it clear to you are you understanding the thing the way with which i am going yes sir yes homework is given to you and that homework you have to upload up to when you will upload is it possible up to tomorrow you will upload the homework if no then say no yes ankita what's the problem when will you submit okay many are saying sir one uh, yes rupashi sir one question uh, yes. is be free to ask sir uh, ethylene is 10 g then divide 10 divided by the hmm i could not hear you clearly unmute and talk 10 divided by sir 26 Yes. Uh, then the answer is zero point thirty eight, and yes. the uh, oxygen sixty divided by sixteen. My answer is three point seventy five. Then the compare the two values. Not directly. See the reaction now. What is the demand of reaction? Reaction says for two acetylene you want five oxygen. Are you following, Rupashi? Yes, sir. Means how many times more oxygen you want? Two point five times. It is a need of reaction. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So moles of 
moles of acetylene just you said 0.3 something no 0.38 yes sir yes so for for 0.38 how many moles of oxygen you want 0.38 into how much will you do for 1 mole of acetylene 2.5 2.5 times should be the oxygen so for 0.38 moles how much oxygen you need 0.38 into 2.5 are you getting or not 25 yes not 25 2.5 0.38 into 2.5 0.9 uh it is 0.38 it is near about 99 sometime something will come near about that yes, somebody somebody can do the calculation 0.95 no 0.95 no? 0.95 yes point yes 0.95 is 0.95 so for for 10 g of the acetylene where only 0.38 moles are there you need number of moles of oxygen for reaction point of view reality may be different from reaction point of view how much you need you need only 0.95 moles of 0.95 moles of oxygen are you getting the point what i'm saying yes sir but but already how much how many moles of oxygen you are with 60 g 60 divided by 16 no not uh, 16 32 32 32 32 is a molecular weight of oxygen no don't go on atomic weight 32 is a molecular weight of oxygen oxygen molecule oxygen atom is 16 so 60 divided by 32 so it is coming near about 1.8 or 1.9 1.8 okay 1.8 so 1.8 moles of oxygen you are with and needed are only 0.95 so oxygen available is more are you getting so who is less acetylene is less limiting reagent is acetylene answer i had given to you now you have to solve properly and you have to give the answer again rupesh ji are you following other students are you getting the point what i am saying if not then say no yes sir yes sir Yes, Ankita. Is it possible tomorrow? Can you complete this homework? Actually, answer had given now, but you have to write that reaction. You have to solve that, and then you have to say limiting is less quantities of acetylene. Okay, so tomorrow you have to submit. So tomorrow uh, assignment number seven is also is assignment for lecture number seven and assignment for lecture number eight. Both will be there for today. Assignment for lecture number six is there. So complete the work. So student, shall I wind today? Shall I stop? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay then, I'm stopping recording, uh, and I declare today's session is over. You can quit now, but complete assignment. Doubts are there? You can ask.